channel fine concept tv welcome back again to my channel this is fine concept tv and i am okamaka a mom blogger living here in italy yes wow today's video is going to be a brief one at that okay guys before we continue i will want to show a video clip and i will explain to you what that video is all about so don't change that dial stay tuned and keep watching You just always been a tight to rush I've been laid back, yeah I don't wanna skip steps, you know that So if you're with it, then say yeah I just need a little bit of Wow, welcome back again to this channel, yes Guys, the video clip you just watched now I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the video again after I say what, say what I want to say. The lady on the pink dress is Obiano's uh, wife, governor, the, the, the outgoing governor. Yes. The ex-governor of Anambara State, Governor Willie Obiano. The wife is the person on pink dress. According to what uh, what the eyewitness, what happened there, this on the swearing in of the new governor, being Soludo, as the as the swearing in was going on, the wife's governor, the the ex governor's wife, Osodieme, now stood up. She walked up straight to Bianco Juku. Yes. As she woke up to Bianco Juku, she now said, Bianco Juku, why are you here? I thought you say you will never attend any APGA event again. Why are you here? <sighs> on that particular point, Bianca is the one on the yellow dress with her scarf. She just stood up, dragged her wig, and slapped her. Guys, you can imagine such embarrassment. On the day of all people, where the swearing in was going on, you can imagine and such. You can imagine such a thing. It doesn't worth it. I'm just watching a lot of reaction videos. Even some people said it was a a, a wife that slapped Ojuku. No, it is Ojuku's. It is Ojuku wife where she was sitting down. Governor, the ex governor's wife also dear may now walked up to her. It was out of anger. The rest out of anger. That was why Ojuku's wife now slapped her. And at the same time, Obiano's wife started exchanging words, started calling uh, Bianca a shower. <sighs> I'm short of words. I don't know why we, we, we have, I don't know, I don't know why, how we, we, we find ourselves in this kind of situation. I can't envisage such situation that just, is a, is a kind of a drama that just took place on that swearing in of Anambara State new governor. It doesn't worth it. Many people are saying, eh, hey, why will she slap the woman this disease? It is not Bianca's, Bianca Ojuku's fault. Quote me anywhere. It is not Bianca Ojuku's fault. Swearing in now, you know the kind of people that will be there. Even people outside Anambra State, all of them are there. You stood up from your seat. You went to another person telling her she's not ashamed of herself. Why is she there? That she says she can never attend that particular anything concerning that party being Apuga. Also, they may should have asked herself question. Even if, even if 
uh, 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 Bianca Ojuku attend that, that ceremony. Bianca Ojuku cannot just wake up one morning and decided to come to such event, even, even if she has said such a thing. Either she was invited or either that maybe the Afghan people has find out her grievances for saying what she said. They either they approached her to apologize and there is peace. To me, I don't think if Bianca can just woke up and start coming that particular event. Bianca must have been invited either, either by the new governor or there must be somebody that invited Bianca on that occasion. So whether she was invited or whether she's not invited, I don't think it's a crime for her to come to come there. Maybe even if she has said that before, maybe to her she has equally realized she needs to work with these people. At least for her to come there, court see demands, she should be welcomed. Because when I, the way I saw her, she was sitting down. She's not like somebody who is there for a war. I think she is there for peace. Because she enjoyed what is happening there. So Osodieme, Osodieme did not did not do the right thing. She shouldn't have done that. I will not blame Bianca Ujugu for slapping her. Because when you're angry, if you're angry, to some certain point, it is hard for you to control your temper. Especially when you know you are right. It is very, very difficult for you to control your anger. So that was the incident that took place on that particular swearing in. Also, DMA shouldn't have walked up to, to, to um, Bianco Juku to say anything. Because one, they are no longer the gov the, the, they are not longer, the, the husband is no longer the governor of the state. Either is she the first lady of the state. She has no right even to comfort Bianca for whatsoever. If there's anybody that has the right to do that, I think the people in charge of that party are, the, are in the right position to approach Bianca and confront her for whatsoever she might have said. So please, whenever you are judging things, try and judge it the way it's supposed to be. If Bianca, if also DMA did not approach Bianca, Bianca, there's no way. Bianca has never, all her life, Bian, even when the husband was alive, Bianca, Bianca Ojugu, I've never seen her exchange words with anybody. There is no way Bianca Ojugu will do such a thing. So she was prompt. She was pushed to the wall. So at times when you're being pushed to the wall, you have no other option. You have to defend yourself. If you don't defend yourself, you, they, will, they will treat you like a trash. So please... Let's try and control our temper. In other hands, I'm not saying that, uh, I'm not trying to say well done to Bianco Juku. But in other hands, Bianco Juku, in case of next time, because of the history of your family and your husband, Ojuku, you shouldn't have slapped her. Or rather, you should have just kept quiet. You should have just leave her for her to rant. You know your, your purpose of being there is also applicable to each of and every one of us, especially mothers. There are some things we are not supposed to be doing on social media. There are some things we are not supposed to be even doing behind cameras. Let us all try and control our tempers. And people should equally try to mind their business. Don't always... Uh, uh, portray don't always show yourself off don't always show yourself there are some things you don't need to confront there are some things you don't need to even say there are some circumstances you're not supposed to even react to whatsoever that takes place there because at times someone might be fighting you someone might be might be trying to embarrass you the person will purposely do that for you to react so that people will see, ah, is this, this is what this woman is doing in public or this is what this man is doing in public. Let's try and control our temper. It is very, very important. Secondly, 
Let's try and mind our business. Let's stop confronting some certain things that does not consign us. Because on this case, if the confrontation did not take place, the slap would not, wouldn't have, have take place. So that's how I am judging it. So I hope our mothers out there will emulate, will learn a lesson from this. Let's try and control our tempers. Even when you are being pushed to the wall, control your temper. Remind, remember who you are. Remember where you are. And remember where you're coming from. And remember that people are looking up onto you. So let's try and be positive. Let's try and do whatever we are doing in this life. Let's try and do it with wisdom to the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, I have to stop this video now. Don't forget to like this video. Share this video. Leave a good comment. And hit the notification button for you to be the first to be notified whenever we upload new videos. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. We have amazing videos for you. God bless you all for watching. At this point, we say bye. We love you.